Hey y'all, thank you so much for returning for another video. But if you're new here, hi, my name is Kendra. I am a zero-based cash budgeter. I budget on a monthly and a weekly basis. I budget every single week because I get paid every single week. Also love to do savings challenges, DIYs, and unboxings. So if that sounds like something that you may be interested in, please consider becoming a subscriber. I would love to have you here. Hit that bell notification button to be notified every time I post a video. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy and leave a comment below. I would love to communicate with, with you. And without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, you guys, it is 1.45 in the morning. And I want to get this video out the way because I don't know when I'm going to record or be able to record it. So I want to do it now because tomorrow or later on today, I should say, I plan on getting a lot of stuff done around my house. So if I record now, go to sleep, wake up, edit and upload, I should be good. But anyways, um... These are everything that I'm stuffing today. So this is my bills binder. These two or three are my sinking funds binder. And then this is my wallet. So let me go ahead and move some of these out the way. Oh yeah, I wanted to say, let me say this really fast. So my last video, I did um, an unboxing from Erica's Making It Bling um site and i completely forgot about this i did not show this i did not take it out the package it was still in there and this is her card this is the sticker that she gave me of course it's halloween it's a cute little heart safety pen i actually have these in gold but um bigger and then it says Kendra, thank you so much for your support. And then it says E. It's the E on it. My light is bright, so you probably can't see it. But I f completely forgot to show you guys that. And then this is her QR code. If you guys want to screenshot it, I'm pretty sure it takes you right to her website so i wanted to get that out the way i purchased well i actually won this pen in the giveaway so that was so thoughtful of her to do that i love it and then this one are these two i just recently purchased this is her fall leaves and this is the sally pen so it's her fall collection it's the halloween collection and then this one i purchased back in march Ooh. and then I have the scratcher tool as well so if you guys want to check out my unboxing please do I would greatly appreciate it all right so let's get into counting this cash all right so originally I Got paid 1000 Let me see. Let me move this light out the way a little bit. I got paid $1,134. But I did take some. Um, the money that I was supposed to put towards Capital One. I took that out and put that in my bank account already. My bills account. And I took some money from my savings challenge. Like. 40 something dollars and put that towards um the debt too so i had to pay my capital one today which was 1401 dollars so um i had 1208 in my envelope um when i withdrew this cash i took out 147 for my capital one and then 40 $46 went towards um, the debt as well. So whatever's left over 
for my savings challenge. I think it was supposed to be 150 for my or 250 for my savings challenge. So I should have two 204 left for my um savings challenge. All right, so hopefully I didn't throw my denominations off by taking that out as well because I took out my correct denominations and then I just took out whatever I needed to deposit in the bills account for my Capital One. So I don't know, I might have threw myself off a little bit. All right, so... We have 100, 200, 300, 400. So we should have 941 after subtracting 193. So this is 400, 450, 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 40, 60, 86, 20, 40, 60, 87. So 750. 760, 70, 80, 90, 800, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 900, 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 935, oh, hold on, wait, 935, 36, 7, 8, 9, 40, and 41. So 941 is exactly what I should have. So we are going to start off with my bills binder as usual. Let me get that out the way. All right, so for mortgage, we are getting, <clears throat> mortgage is getting 152. So that's 151, two. 151, two. And I did put these nails back on, so, and this is the next day or maybe two days later, but I did take these nails off after that video and I just put them back on before recording this portion and I actually used glue this, this time and I really like it with the glue because they lay flatter. So you can't see as much of my nail sticking out, but you can still see a little bit, but I definitely like them with the glue on. So this is my third time putting them back on and I'm loving it. And the only reason why I use glue is because I'm not doing overtime this weekend. So I do have two days off of work. So I figured why not glue them down for the two days. And I use the brush on glue. I use this glue. So I find that this glue is not as strong as the one that you squeeze out in a tube. I could be wrong. I could have been using it wrong the first time I used it because my nails kept popping off. <laughs> but um, yeah, I used the brush on glue thinking that when it comes time for me to take these off, it'll be easy to get off. But I am loving these nails. If I could find a website, because the lady did have um, a website where you could purchase these nails from and they are affordable. I'll link it below or in on the screen or something if I could find it. All right, so utilities is getting 40, so that is two 20s, which makes 40. Phone is getting 20. Car insurance is getting 20. Internet is getting 15, a 10, and a 5. Investment is getting nothing because it's going towards savings, which is technically student loans. So that's $100, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 
for student loans. I'm such a procrastinator. I have yet to make a payment for student loans. And I know I need to make a payment because the interest is just adding up. And I need to just get it out the way. Because I do have a good amount of money saved up where I could just throw the money towards um, student loans. That way I won't wind up paying more in the long run. So, um, gym is fully stuffed with $10 and subscriptions is fully stuffed with $31, which is Netflix and Canva. So, that is it for that. Moving along to this binder. And I need to pull out my budget book so I can look at my denominations and see what I actually budgeted for. Which is this it's. Yes, I believe this one, this is the page, so I need to move, slide these up. Alright, so for me, I budgeted $20. For Kanaya... 10, so the kids are getting 10. Jenna is getting 10. Joelle's is getting 10. Household is getting 10. Holidays is getting 20. So I'm trying to put like enough in here for Thanksgiving. So I don't know what I'm doing for Thanksgiving, but holidays, I think for holidays, Thanksgiving will be the last holiday and then we have Christmas which has its own um, envelope fun you know what fun was supposed to go towards debt and instead I took it I took um, from savings so let me see how much is in here I have 20 40 60 81 one twenty, twenty five, thirty, thirty one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So one thirty seven. So I would have originally put this whole thing towards debt from the money that I spent for the New York Comic Con, but I don't know, we'll see. Maybe I'll just leave it here. Alright, so Fun is getting, did I put 10 in here? I don't think so. I didn't put the 10 in yet. So fun's getting 10. Car is getting 20. Getting closer and closer to Closer and closer to renewing my registration and getting the car inspection. So that's all due in December. Christmas is getting $20. I have a feeling I'm going to have money left over after Christmas because I'm really not trying to spend a whole lot. Especially after spending what I spent this month. Furniture isn't getting anything. And then the savings challenge should still have... How much did I say? One two hundred and four dollars. So it's gonna get two hundred. One, two, three, four. So yep, I think that is that worked out perfect. So two oh four. So that is it for the savings challenge. I mean, that's it for that binder. And then we have this binder. 
vacation isn't getting anything. So we skip past these two. Giveaway is going to get 10. Business is getting 20. So I have a lot of stuff in my Amazon cart that I want to purchase for my business as far as like bubble wrap, like the um, these packages, right? Packaging right here. Um, what else? Different card stocks, sticker paper. Um, I think that's it. I'm just trying to make sure I'm preparing myself for when I do start making things and I want stuff that had, that is good quality. So I've just been watching people's videos, taking notes, and um, just making my own judgment from, from there, from the information that I'm receiving. All right, so B-Days is getting 10. And that is it. I think I could take the savings challenge envelope out, but I'll do that later. All right, next is this binder. And I actually did budget 10 for home. So we're gonna put 10 in home. Nothing for car, so this is for a new car, so I'm not really worried about that right now. Um, medical is getting our budget for medical, yep, medical is getting 10. Dental is getting 10. Nothing for eye care, nothing for high yield. Oh, I forgot to put something for dining out. I've been having the urge to dine, dine out, so I feel like this money is going to be spent soon. So dining out is getting 20. <coughs> Excuse me. I might swap that with the um, new dining out envelope that I've made. All right, so I did finish this one, yep. This in here. All right, so now we are gonna move on to the wallets. So I am switching back to my Halloween envelopes. I love these because they do have the dividers so um i definitely want to switch back to those all right so i did really good this week with spending i since i spent so much on groceries we've been eating in the house but um i did do some shopping today so a lot of money came out of my shopping envelope. I'm just gonna put this to the side, don't need that. And I'm putting them in order. Okay. So takeout, I don't recall getting any takeout. So takeout still has 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, one, two, three, four five so sixty dollars in takeout and we are putting 55 in here so takeout is going to have a good amount of money we have 20 10 three tens and a five so 20 30 40 50 five I think I did owe my Capital One <clears throat> $26 from when we went to the 
New York Comic Con and I swiped my card um, that morning. So I'll probably take $26 out. I already paid the debt. So I'll probably put this towards my savings challenge since I did take money away from my savings challenge. I'll take $26 out. Matter of fact, I can do that now. Take $26 out to put back towards my savings challenge since I did owe from doing takeout. And let's do 27 because I'm pretty sure it was 26 and some change. 27 towards the savings challenge. So now takeout has 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 86, 7, 8. So $88 in takeout. Oh, uh, switching to my Halloween envelopes. So we're going to move that over. All right. Groceries, groceries. I was, like I said, I was really, really shopping. So I'm pretty sure I went over in groceries. Not sure how much I went over. Mm. Maybe, I think I went over like maybe $5. So I'm going to just let that slide. And we're going to do 20 Two 20s and a 10, so $50 for groceries, 20, 40, 50. Oh my God, I keep putting it in. Okay, gas. So last week I budgeted $100 for gas. I did go to New York. I spent $55 to fill the rental car back up. And I have $45 out of the $100. So I did not budget anything for gas this week. I have $45 and that should be good enough because I still have a half a tank in my car. Right, so shopping, shopping. I had, I still had the 50 from last week that I stuffed. I still had that today, but I went out shopping and now I only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I believe I had like either 50 or 60 dollars left. I want to say 50 dollars, and out of 50 dollars, I have nine. So uh, I was really like pulling from this envelope today because I went to the grocery store. Um, I forget what my bill came up to, but I did use cash. I was trying to use cash because I'm trying to fill up this change jar and I was trying to get change back. Matter of fact, it came up to $17 exactly because I got $3 back. No change at all. So $17 at Walmart. I spent like six dollars and um, five below, and like nine nineteen ninety nine at um, Ross. All I know is I got a penny back and changed up. I was trying to spend cash and get a lot of change back, but literally i only got a penny back from ross nothing from walmart and a little bit of change from five below but um each time i took out of the shopping envelope so i have i did say nine dollars right so one two three four five six seven eight nine hold on wait let me count this again one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten dollars in shopping, and shopping is getting fifty, so it's gonna get two twenties and a ten. 
So that's 20, 40, 50 plus the 10 ones makes $60 for shopping. together it looks sloppy it's looking sloppy right now all right let's get this together this is going towards my savings challenge so now we have miscellaneous which I took a couple dollars out of here today too. So I did I did not spend anything out of miscellaneous until today. So now I have $15 in miscellaneous. Um, it did have 30. So this is from last week. So we're gonna do 10 to five for 15, which makes 30 for this week. So $30 for miscellaneous. So that is it for that. So I will probably use these um, once Halloween is over and I make some dividers. So I have, I have been in the process of making dividers and I'll be using these next month unless i decide to make christmas envelopes then those await till january so i'm gonna go ahead and let's go ahead and empty our change i do have a good amount of i do have a good amount of change so let's go ahead and see let's see if this fills it up look at that change Alright, let's see if I can get this top on. Oh, I got enough room for a little more. I have a little bit more room. So I have a feeling next week will be it. Next week will be it and then we can do the giveaway. Alright, so let me put this into the savings challenge, which would be... So I put 104. So now we have, or I put 204, but now we have 200. It's supposed to be 250, but I put some towards debt. But now we have 100, 200, 20, so 220, 225, 6, 7, 8. 9 30 31 so 231 for my savings challenge i might put this towards business that way i can go ahead and purchase my things also i want to get a peel box so that'll be good too for the peel box Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and put my envelopes back in here. And I believe that is it. I'm trying to think, is there anything that I wanted to talk about? But I don't think there is. So that is it, you guys. I'm still, I'm so in love with this pen. Look at it. in love all right so that is it for this video if you enjoyed please give me a thumbs up leave a comment below and please consider becoming a subscriber i would love to have you here thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye